if you value your reputation as a professional, intend to build credibility with your audience, and want to increase personal presence, avoid making these comments in your next presentation. I don't know why they asked me to do this. Speakers often intend this opening throwaway line to show humility, as in, aw shucks, who am I to do this when there's so many other more qualified people who could do a better job? The intention is good, but the technique is bad. As a speaker, your first job, your primary job at audience analysis is to know why you've been asked to speak. What's the unique perspective you bring to the topic or to the group? Not knowing what you bring to the table does not instill confidence in the audience that you're about to deliver value for them. Another thing you don't want to say. The funniest thing happened to me a few years ago or weeks ago or whatever. After such a statement, the audience will beg to differ. That is, after you tell that funny story, the likely reaction will be, that wasn't so funny. Why? Because you set the group up for disappointment. You set them up by telling them how they're supposed to react. If you say the saddest thing, the strangest thing, the shocking thing, never tell audience members how they should react. Just tell your story and let them react. The third thing not to say. You've probably heard all this before, but so why tell them what they already know? This comment is typically offered as an apology when presenters think incorrectly that they must give context and background information to get a few people up to speed before delivering their main point. Providing context does not mean repeating known information. The statement merely warns the audience to tune out for a time, not something you want. The fourth statement. I, I know you can't see this, but what it shows is, referring to a visual, if they can't see it, don't show it. A fifth thing not to say. Are there any questions? This closed-ended question implies that there may not be any questions. When asked with closed body language and very little eye contact, many audience members actually hear it to mean, you don't have any questions, do you? If you want to encourage questions, use phrasing that implies there will be some, such as, what questions do you have? And six, well, that wraps it up. That's all I've got today. Your close represents your last chance to drive your message home. Never waste this point of high impact with the Donald Duck close. That's all, folks. As I said in my book, Speak with Confidence, more than 12 years ago, and end with a wallop, not a whimper. Count how many times you hear one of these statements in the next round of presentations in your organization. Then consider them wasted opportunities. Opportunities to persuade an audience, not make them tune out.